Welcome back to Z2 Tutorials. This is part 4 of our HTML and CSS course. And last time we created this lovely embedded video, and we have our header, our content area, and our footer with a nice background. Now, today we are going to be working on how to get this sprite class for the panel. Now, where you see this most is on YouTube. If you go to the YouTube homepage, or not the homepage, a video, and if you click on the description, it expands, and when you click on it again, it collapses. Now that is called a sprite class for the panel, and it is very easy to do. Easy to do in Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver does it very, very nicely, and it only has a click of a button, and then you can customize it yourself. So to get started on this, we do want to make a div to hold our sprite class for the panel. So pop on into the source code here, and you want to find under the video, go under the video div before the right content div because you still want it to be in the right content so when you find that and just above there is the embedded video the code we got from youtube just start writing your div so we're going to do angle bracket div we're going to call it a class because it's not that important press enter when class comes up and we're going to name this class spray now we could call it spray class of the panel but i don't think we're going to have any other sprays in this unless you want me to you have to tell me in the description if you want any more stuff inside this website but spry is what we're going to name it now just go in between the video and the footer um class in the class sheet or in the style sheet sorry and we're going to put the period sign because it's a class and not a hash or pound sign we're going to put the name of it which is spry open our curling brackets and close our curling brackets now start off with centering our, our div by going margin left auto then our semicolon and margin right auto and our semicolon now it's just going to be um, auto as I said and you can't actually see it now because there's no text inside there so we're just going to insert our spray straight away now to insert your spray you just go to the spray toolbar here or you can just go to insert spray and then um, spray class of panel will, will be there so if you can't find it just go to insert then go to spray then go to spray class of panel when you find it just click on it and it'll insert the code itself, Dreamweaver will do it for you. So as you can see, it gives it an ID, and there it is in the design view. It just has a tab and a content area. The tab is the part where people click for it to expand and collapse. And as you know, the blue is the code part. That is what people actually don't see. The black is what people actually see. So we can rename this tab, click here for a video description maybe. And in the content, we can just paste some some content in there you could write your video description there um so i'll just paste some from another video there when you've your description written in you can go into the design view and look at it there now i want a paragraph there but when i press enter it all spreads out unevenly that is because we need to go into the code view and put a paragraph sign the sign for a paragraph sign is a p in between two angle brackets and as you can see it looks good there and you can do that the whole way down the page it looks perfectly fine so now that we have that, we want to style our div. Now if you press on the blue all around the div, it gives you these properties and it says display open and default state open. You want its default state to be closed, which means on the web browser, it'll appear closed. Otherwise it'll appear open and there's no really point in having it. Now when we pop into Dreamweaver again, it does need to be styled. It's too large. So we want to we wanna edit this in our um, style.css document we're going to give it a margin top of 10 pixels just to bring it down from the video that it doesn't look like it's squashed up next to it and as you can see that looks a little bit better there now we want to get and um, make this a bit narrower narrower sorry it is a bit too wide and we want it to be around 550 pixels now there's two ways of styling it there's the way we do with the style.css document which is it gives you two other documents sprite class of panel dot css and sprite class of panel dot js now we don't want to use them we just want to use the css styles in the right panel you see there that i'm using if you don't have this just go to window and look for css styles now the sprite class of panel dot css document will be there you just expand that and it'll give you all the names now you got class of panel class of panel tab class of panel content We'll double click on class of panel, go to the category box and give the box width of 550 pixels. That will make it um, a bit smaller and it won't be as large. Now we can center that and the class of panel tab 
is the tab where it says click here for description you can edit that background color maybe so maybe you want a uh, a green background and you apply that you can change all the colors you can have it as default white or you can just have back at the gray it was i think i was just going to leave it at that gray now you can actually have a background image there which means you can customize it yourself to have uh let's say uh something that you made in photoshop or gimp to be a now if i just put our header there it doesn't actually work because it's too big obviously but you get the you get the idea we can work on that later if you want just let me know in the comments when you're done with that press ok and now you can work on the classroom panel content the content is where all the text is you can change the background color on that again put it to a green if you want you can just i'm just showing you guys what you can do a white doesn't really matter you can put a background image on that as well if you wanted to maybe you want to put a gradient on that that's what you do in photoshop or gimp so apply that light gray mines f2 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 now there's all these other ones down here basically it's just the colors that it changes to when you hover over it um, for example if you look here when I hover over it nothing happens um, when I click on it there's a weird blue and that's what Green River does by default I don't know why they do it don't ask me but anyway and when you hover over it again nothing happens now we're gonna change that we're gonna have a hover to black and when we click on it it's gonna go black as well and the text is gonna change to white so it just looks a little bit better but first off I think we're gonna need to center that div now you're wondering why it isn't center because we did put margin left auto and margin right auto it's because we didn't actually give the div a width now you have to give the div a width for it to be centered otherwise um, it's just going to center the whole page which means it's not centered at all so if we put the width to 550 pixels and check design as you can see it's centered there that was quite easy now we can work on actually customizing this baby so if we go to classical panel open which means when thing is open now um first off you want to do the hover so when the mouse hovers over the tab it'll turn to black and the text color will go to white so that's just all in the category the type is the text the background is the color if we preview this when we scroll over the text goes to white the background goes to black but when i click it still stays in that blue we're going to fix that a bit later on now we're going to work on how to um do the focus now what is the focus the focus is when someone clicks on it the mouse is actually focused on that which means you have to change that to the black to the dark blue the same color you want as it's open now when we click on it it works perfectly there as you can see the text went black because we didn't actually change it to white and um, so you want to fix that there very easily click double click on that go to type on the color put in white and we we'll refresh that there when we hover it goes black and it's white text and when we click it it goes black and it's white text so it's very very easy when we click again it closes and you can just keep working out on things like that it's very very easy and very very customizable now i wasn't actually going to do this but i was looking around on some youtube videos and a lot of them were very hard to follow and i didn't think they need to go into a huge amount of detail with this um, once you get the basics it's very very easy to customize it yourself as you can say you can use background images all that good stuff so don't worry about all that now if you're new to this you would probably want to watch the other tutorials I have them in the description anyway if you want to see them or else you could just subscribe and see my other tutorials and next off we're going to probably do the contact page um, because I know a lot of people don't know how to do a contact page and I know it's very important for a website to have a contact page um, we might also do a navigation bar I was going to think of having that navigation on the left hand side there where there's advertisements but I don't think I will um, so yeah the navigation bar will probably be next then the contact form maybe a forum uh, we might have a reviews page we'll put on our Google AdSense to make some money uh, yeah it's pretty much it we'll do some SEO as well search engine optimization to get your Google and Yahoo and Ask Me uh, rank higher so all that is soon to come so make sure you subscribe for that but until the next tutorial thanks for watching guys and peace out